John, tell me how long you and Christine have been married. We've been married just over 60 years. At our reception, Christine's father actually shook me warmly by the hand and said, I'll give you six months. Tell us about your journey to where things are today with Christine living in a care home. We'd begun to notice that she was forgetting things and couldn't remember things which were fairly obvious. It was some friends actually that encouraged us to go and get Christine memory tested. So we took her along and we, we found that she was diagnosed with a fairly aggressive form of dementia and of course it was a terrible shock to us at the time. Extremely traumatic experience. So yeah John, just tell us about um, life for Christine and how she's come to be living in a care home. Well it was two years ago actually. I think I was on the edge of a nervous breakdown to be quite honest because it was 24 hours a day and Christine was waking up in the night and at night she would often turn to me and say you're not my husband and get me out of here and take me home. I hadn't realised how much uh, I was deteriorating myself. So they took her into the home to actually try to adjust her medication to help her and they said she would be there for two weeks and that was devastating, I mean absolutely devastating. It was two days after my 80th birthday and I just wet buckets for two weeks basically. And then they said they hadn't realised how bad she was and how much pressure it was on me and they said they felt it was time for her to be kept into the home and so that was two years ago. We've adjusted to that. God has been quite amazing in it all. She seems to be a lot happier in that respect. She doesn't have these huge mood swings but um, obviously she's deteriorated to the point where she can hardly walk unless we give her some help and um, she talks very little, she speaks, I would like to think she's speaking in tongues, but actually I think it's gibberish. But uh, we have a connection with her and that's as much as we can ask. And God has given us a sort of role, I think even in the care home to some degree, which has been an amazing experience for us. Why do you think churches and Christians should get involved in care homes? There's a huge need in the care homes. I believe there's huge opportunities in those places. The, the situation Christine is in is amazing. Lovely people doing a job for very little money, 12 hour shifts, often six days a week. They just don't have the time to perhaps engage with residents as, as they would like to. They do great jobs, but there's a huge need there. And I think it's the one area where the church has actually missed the ball, as it were. They've failed to realise the need. I just would love to see church leaders picking up on this issue. Now, most of them are busy, but if they can prayerfully think that there might be one person in their church that can make a difference, then I think that is the way forward. There are folks in the church that perhaps would not be able to do other things, but they're the kind of people that would be happy to go in and sit with someone for an hour and talk or perhaps read the Bible and do simple things just to alleviate the pain and to uh, come alongside people with uh, the blessing of, of Jesus. We want to encourage every church to think whether there is a possibility that they could commit some of their resources, not huge resources, quite simple actually, into two or three people to get into a home and make a difference for Jesus. Why have you agreed to be an ambassador for Care Home Friends? I was amazed to think that what God had put in my heart was already being done in, in an amazing way. And so um, when you said, would you like to become an ambassador, I leapt at the chance, not because I think I'm a sort of great ambassador particularly, but I really wanted to give you all the support that I possibly could to see every single care home in the country with a church behind it that can actually have some input into the residents and the staff and really find fulfilment in serving God in that special way. Tina, so how simple is it for a church to get involved with care home friends? It's actually a really simple project to get involved in a care home. All it takes is having somebody in your church who is willing to champion the cause and that they can bring together two or three volunteers to all be trained up to go into the care home and spend time with residents. We provide all the training and all the support that you need to do that. So it really is very simple.
So Tina, how can people be in touch with you? Very simple, they can have a look at our website www.carehomefriends.org.uk or they can uh, email myself or my colleague Jen, get in touch and we will go from there. That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Tina.